With the shoulder now fixed, we can look at the eye. So let's zoom in for a closer look. We can now see quite clearly that her left eye is too far away from her nose and in fact it's a little smaller than the right one. To get perfect symmetry, we need to move it across. To make the liquify filter perform better, we can check the stylus pressure button. And now the harder we press with the stylus, the more the eye will move, and this is very convenient. Now you can see we're using a very large brush size, and you might think this is too big. After all, the edge of the brush area seems to extend to cover the ear and the nose. But as we click and drag within the eye, you can see that the ear and the nose are barely affected by it. And the reason for this is this is a soft-edged brush, and that means most of its effect is in the centre, with only minimal effect towards the outside. Let's move this eye up a little bit, and a bit more in towards the centre. Now the nose has got very slightly deformed by this, although the eye now appears to be in the correct position. So let's choose a smaller brush size. Once again, we can hold the shift key as we drag with the scroll wheel, and let's just fix the nose. That looks better. The eye still seems a little bit small, and so we can go to the bloat tool, and as we click on it now, it'll make it very slightly larger, and that's the kind of effect we want. Now, all this bloating and dragging means that the pupil and the iris have become a little distorted. Let's go back to the forward warp tool, choose a smaller brush size again, and now we can perform some minor surgery on here just to make this eye look better. Let's lift up the eyebrow a little bit, get that nose symmetrical, and that looks rather better to me. It may be all slightly over towards the nose, so let's move it back a fraction, take the whole eye up a little bit, a few more adjustments, bringing the edge of that eyebrow, and that looks rather good. Now we can see that the side of the head has become pulled in, but we can fix that using the reconstruct tool. Let's go for a smaller brush size, and paint over there, and that will return that to its original position. And now we can press OK, and we can look at the difference. There's the original image, and here it is, corrected to put the eyes closer together and to fix this shoulder. Once again, there's the original, and when we look at it now, it looks completely wrong. And there's our corrected image.